Warning. The following content may contain elements that are not suited for all audiences. As of now, viewer discretion is advised. Hello, hello, hello. It's me again. I know maybe one or two of you are probably thinking, oh dear god, not this again. But we're going to keep going. As always, my name is John, the most boring... as I tend to be, while dropping some philosophy every so often. So, moving on. Last episode, I was running my ass off, hopping my ass off around, trying to get through that part, which I did, after one death. And that was last episode. For further recaps, please check the previous episodes. So, this is going to be the new hub we'll work with. Just came from that way, down there. Ultimately, I think the objective is through here. Ah, yes, the elevator. Alright. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Alright, let's flip the switch and see what happens. Of course. Forgot about that. Uh, oh, right, over here. This is supposedly the, uh, room with all the mechanisms and everything. Fuck. Okay, moving on. So we're gonna have to find a way in there. Ah, the hell with it. If I remember correctly, up there is a bedroom, over here is... Some kind of cellar. They've got like 50 of these things here. Storage. Okay. Okay, so the further we're going along, the more instances we might actually run into shenanigans and bullshit. Just fair warning. Oh, what are you noting at? Find a way to the engineering room. Da, 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 Diary? No? Okay. I don't know what that was then. Alright. Mm, Tinderbox, gonna need that. just looking for stuff. I don't know what specifically, but there is stuff here, I remember that much. That we're probably going to... Oh, wait. Um...
So, recall the second episode, I was reading a bunch of shit poorly, but one of the notes was talking about a bunch of creatures that were gathering live people, creatures, etc., for some unknown purpose. That was one of them. They're called the Gatherers, if I remember correctly. But, oh well. We'll be dealing with him a lot here, so in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep my fucking mouth shut. The bluish light. What about the bluish light? Daniel, you wanna chime in some more here? Okay, fuck you too. Ooh, drugs! Gonna need some drugs. Alexander, I have prepared the explosives you need for clearing the flood drain. I cannot stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your four feather brain servants that this before you can go ahead with your plan. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separately, uh, separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you'll you are ready to go. Agrippa. Okay, so yes, we need the drill to get into these vats of explosives. But I'm probably gonna speed through this part so you can actually no, I'm gonna go straight through. So you guys can see what exactly we're going to be dealing with. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone, I swear. I just want to go home. No, get away from me. Leave me alone. Femur, protect me. So yeah, that's what we need the explosive for. Alright. Heading back, I'm probably going to speed through here just to... Oh, shit. Should have been keeping an eye on that. My bad! Alright. I'm sorry? So let's drill you. What do you mean? Did I add an interact with that first before I could? I'll be with you in a minute. They're being tortured to death. I'm not 
even doing anything? Oh. to do. Don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. I will kick your ass. Probably not. I'll just probably, you know, character or something. Why are you doing this? Get away from me! You have to wonder why Daniel is, ha is having these memories. I honestly forgot that was a thing. Why this is a thing, I don't know, but this is a thing. Where the hell is the source, anyways? Is there a valve that I can shut off? I don't see any visible signs of, like, ventilation from the bottom for fuel or anything. What the hell? Somebody please explain this. Please? Mm. Oh. Okay. Um. I think these are levers of some sort for fixing the elevator. If I remember correctly. 
if a full set of three rods is unavailable, there is one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it's, it is absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Okay. And there are only two here, so I feel like... Explore everything. Do that. Do it now. I heard you. I don't see you, but I know you're there. professional stabber person thing you shall not mess with me I could barely move at all. I don't remember that being a thing. Okay, so... I don't know what that was.
motherfucker. Okay, so I think I know what happened earlier. My saying went too, too low, and then I just kind of collapsed in fear. Come on. Come on, I know you can gain some sanity back. Alright, so I'm going to call it a part here. Next, we're going to go over here, I believe. But until then... You know what? Fuck it. You folks can watch me go through this real quick. Now, was it that room or this room? Guest room. Study. Okay, I think this is where they said it would be. Herbert's trying. The fuck down. You're in the light. You can see everything. I know you can be calm. You're getting there. I'll give you that much. Okay, light that candelabra up. Nothing really in here but junk. Well, I'm pretty sure there's artifacts in there, but I don't know for sure. Oh, for Christ's sake. Huh, the irony. There's nothing left. Everything is gone. To my most trusted students and friend, uh, jo Johan Weaver. The most remarkable thing happened as I had traveled through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for in the last 20, year, 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heldrums describes it. 
in the Hortus Conclusus. Try saying that five times fast. It was as it was. <laughs> it was as it was told about the an underground Mithorex temple crowned with the uh, unearthly artifacts. The orb was big enough to fit my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It, w it was an impossibly impossibility, an artifact paradox captured within stone. I was studying in a nearby village called Antisteth, investigating one of the antiquity <laughs> even with me feeling a lot better. I still can't do this shit. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it ha has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and went into the woods. And into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to the nearby ravine where I stumbled onto some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as they pa as I passed, but fortunately they re they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cries of pain echo through the valley, I felt a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I was spared. I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal, black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenches. <laughs> drenched the land as I grew, as the glowing embers gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in, the, in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside J Giona. The guardian had taken the orb from me. But still, until this day, I feared its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Adestanst. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. So, that was a lot. But I said I would get through this with you guys. And no matter how long this video is going to be. I am a man of my word on this one. So, let's go. Hmm. Well, that looks yummy. Hmm. Nice sound effect, too. After a short study, it is clear that the... Agitation found amongst humans can be f found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seem to trigger an 
and danger and dangerous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the ex ex <laughs> Wow. Words. Still hard. Exercise. I must refrain refine this process to torture of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the pro of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Okay. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. One thing to know about me is that I can see humans dying. Hell, I've seen it happen. I can see them in pain, suffering and everything. I can try to help them, but it doesn't really affect me too much. Animals, on the other hand, real or otherwise, different fucking story. Searching, searching, searching. Oh, ain't that a lovely image. Now which... Ah, here you are. Nope. Look towards me. Okay, you're the new one. Alas, poor Yurik. I hardly knew ye. That's an ugly picture. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's largest aquarium's largest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of the life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to find fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of this energy, of the energy that, that I seek. But I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> Sense it. It's definitely there. Certain things can be a bit much. I think that qualifies. Alright, so. Kinda gave us this hint earlier. The window that shattered earlier. Adding tinder boxes and all sorts of shenanigans. <gasps> Let's go. Hua! Yeah! Hush! In I go! Wait a minute, there was one more. I forgot about that. Oh, can't get in that way. Okay. Ooh, more of those penumbra thingies. Oil. Need that. Yes. No oil left in the barrel.
If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before chambering it into the machinery. Adjusting the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber, the meter should read up 8 and down 8. Make note of this. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, four phase amplitude, complete uh, steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configurations until all rods are inserted. Oh, pretty nifty. Okay, what all is here? Boom. That's all you had? Fuck you. Okay, let's touch the penumbra thingy. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My presence spans centuries. From where I came, mankind is not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered the ga that gate. Is anyone there? Motherfucker, you in my house? Yep, I'm done here. He returned to up to the saucer and picked up the orb as one of an apple, pounded the strange things happening. Da, 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 da. <laughs> slime and the fountains full of blood okay so next time we're gonna go through that study right there but in the meantime y'all have a nice day never let anybody tell you how to run your shit and take it easy